Hi guys, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a Shore Track STRLP, Shore Track Landscape Pro Model trailer. This particular unit's got quite a few options on it, which is why we took a video. We refer to this as the Brickman trailer. Uh, this particular unit's a spec or very similar to a spec that the Brickman company or Brightviews bought. Uh, it's a pretty loaded up trailer. Not everybody buys this exact trailer, but we do sell quite a few variations. Uh, of this trailer. So certainly nice to see everything that's available and then we can put together a package that works for you. So let's take a look around the trailer. It's an eight and a half by 20. Again, it's a round top, low pro, radius front. It's a 9900 GVW, weighs in about 42 empty. It's gonna give you a net legal payload with tongue weight of about 6,500 pounds. Trailer's got a plus 12 inch tongue, ideal for cab chassis trucks with dump bodies got the adjustable panel coupler which can also be subbed out for a 2 and 5 16 inch ball when you go to the adjustable coupler you're going to get a 7,000 pound drop leg setback jack it's got an optional cone holder up front as well as a cooler holder short track does a nice job powder coating their tongue it's a much nicer finish than we sometimes see they have the equipment in-house to blast whereas many of the cargo plants do not it's got the sealed wire harness it's grommeted, ran in frame. Of course, you got your breakaway battery. They do a more of an equipment style safety chain instead of your typical uh, utility style chain you sometimes see on cargos. Again, the wiring is grommeted and in frame. Here you see a wet cell battery for a solar charger on the roof. It's a high capacity charger. Here you'll see a solar pulse system for lead acid batteries. It's got your uh, it's got your two watt system. I believe they would call that a desulfilator. Up on the, the roof of the trailer would be your solar charger. Uh, on the Landscape Pros, they put three extra marker lights front and center in addition to the two side marker lights. Short Track uses an 030 aluminum. Uh, this particular unit's a semi screwless. Uh, some of the heavy duty landscape contractors actually go to a fully screwed trailer as well. Your choice. Three inch bottom trim. You'll notice on the bottom trim, they're using lags, not trim screws. They also double up being that it's a three inch trim and then miter the corners. Uh, even though it's a, a 10,000 GVW, which would not require reflector tape on this particular unit, it's got the reflector tape all the way around. They also add a midship marker light on the trailer for added visibility. Notice too there, the screws are all color matched. Uh, plastic flow-through vents would be standard on this. They've upgraded to the Salem vent. Standard, this trailer would come with aluminum wheels. On this one, they've elected to go with the silver mods. A 225-75 R15 load range D 8-ply radial tire is standard. Now on this, you also notice there is no spring underneath the trailer. That's because this is a torsion axle. And we'll show you that torsion axle here in a second. This is the Pro Series Short Track. You'll notice the bullet LED lights. Okay, coming back to the back door here. That's the start of some of the pretty neat options they got on this. That essentially is similar to what you would see on a toy hauler. It's a cableless hinge system. Only on a toy hauler, I believe you'll generally see there's only three. This one's got six. So they've got hinges all the way across on this, as many as you can get. Uh, also standard on short tracks would be a high capacity LED light. You've also got uh, a bar lock on the rear door that hides your uh, door hardware so somebody can't very easily break into the trailer. You'll notice everything about this trailer is made very secure. It's got the heavy duty rear hasp on the trailer. You also notice they don't put a side door on this particular unit. The only way to get in would be, well, the only normal way to get in short of breaking in would be the back door, which is why they put the heavy duty hasp. Short Track does two aluminum grab handles standard. With this special custom door, uh, they put on the UHMW wear bar as well as the rollers on the back of the door. That's not something that can be added after the fact. Got to be ordered with the trailer because there's structure behind those that wouldn't be there otherwise. So again, if that's something you're thinking about, it needs to be ordered with the trailer. So again, at the back, they've got the bullet LED lights reflector tape as well 
Notice little details like they trim out the rear door as well. Okay, let's take a walk around the side of the trailer. So one thing Brickman does in their trailers is to put an onboard fuel tank. It's a tank designed for gas. Can't use a diesel tank on these unfortunately because of the, uh, the uh, vapors and whatnot of gas. Notice that it is a manual pump. They don't use an electric pump. It's manual. It's got a vented generator style door. It's got a little bit of venting down below as well. Trailer standard 6'6 height. Notice Short Track uses a one piece extruded 080 roof cove all the way around. So this trailer, if, if you look at the fender wells, you're gonna notice it uh, sits a little higher and once we see inside, you'll notice the fenders are a little bit lower. That's because this particular unit's got a frame lift. So there's two main options as a landscaper you can use to keep from digging into somebody's driveway, which would get pretty expensive in a repair application. So in lieu of that, they do a five inch frame lift on these units. Another option you could do would be to put bogey wheels at the back, but again, they choose to put the frame lift on these particular units. Apologize in advance. I'm not a professional photographer here Okay, so what you see here is an all-aluminum door uh, A regular steel door would be far too heavy with the cableless system. So they go with a Aluminum door they put extra uprights in the door and then this particular unit's got a expanded mesh aluminum on top of an extruded aluminum plank So again, it's an all-aluminum door even being aluminum, it's very, very heavy duty. So instead of a traditional plywood floor on this, they go to a two by six pressure treated plank. Some of these units they do with a beaver tail, some they don't. This one here appears to have a four foot beaver tail. One thing you can elect on a pressure treated floor, you can get it with or without a vapor barrier underneath. Some landscapers like to <clears throat> um, not put a vapor barrier for the added ventilation. So on this one, we've got an optional spare tire mount on the side. Again, your Salem vents from the inside. They do a cabinet on the trailer, fire extinguisher, safety kit. Pretty much everything a landscaper would need to go to work. There's quite a few different options available inside the trailer. They've got tool holders, put the plywood on the ceiling. Got backpack blowers. We've even got spots to mount uh, jackets and whatnot for doing pruning and bush work and whatnot. Got line trimmer holders. All this equipment's made by Gridiron, which is uh, actually a sister company to Short Track. Very high quality stuff. You can buy that a la carte as well if you're a landscaper seeing this. Uh, you can get just the hardware if you'd like. Got line trimmer buckets. All the goodies. So they do a three quarter inch plywood wall. They also have a three quarter inch plywood kick plate. Uh, this one's got six D rings in it. Up front, they have a basket. I've got it in the laid down position right now. So you can either use it as a workbench or some guys will put it in the upright position and store some of their goodies when they're in transport. Up top's got the optional cabinets. set of overhead cabinets. Standard on the ceiling would be two roof bows. And then above the roof bows is a thermocool ceiling liner. It's a liner that actually has some reflective insulation in it. Also gives the trailer a finished look. And then above that would be a one piece aluminum roof. Aluminum roof not only is one piece, but it also will stay cooler than a galvalume steel roof would. Okay, let's take a look down here at these fender boxes. Typically a fender on an enclosed trailer it's gonna be about 11, give or take, inches. This one here is gonna be, looks like probably five to maybe six. So you get a low profile fender when you do the frame lift. Again, it's got uh, six D rings. Another detail we like on Short Track with their rings, they do a nice steel backer plate underneath. 
it's not your traditional backer plate either uh, many manufacturers backers this flat steel uh, on this particular unit we'll show you they take and uh, they take and frame it out kind of like a steak pocket nice little detail this trailer is also upgraded again with torsion suspension but it's also got box tube floor cross members instead of your typical form cross members makes the uh, floor studs much stronger this would be very similar actually in many cases heavier than what you would see on a 14,000 pound dump trailer floor very heavy duty floor setup let's take a look up front I want to show you how they frame this out you don't generally see this underneath an enclosed cargo uh, a lot of details like a frame gusset uh, they use tubular header uh, all the reinforcement work Short Track does underneath these is very impressive. Another detail they use a lot of times uh, your outriggers. So you got a you got a frame rail here that's built on a seven wide chassis. The outriggers are generally made out of form steel. I don't know how well you can see it, but these are made out of uh, box tube steel. It's two by six box tube. So again, outriggers normally are formed. This one would not be. Sixteen on center studs. Once in a while guys will order these with a 12 inch on center floor with regular formed or generally it'd be a 16 on center floor with the box too. Again folks, there's a lot of options on this. There's also additional options that you can put on and then sometimes uh, we'll have some cost cutting measures to this like instead of the plank floor we'll do a pressure treated on a 12 inch center. If you give us a ring we can walk you through it and help you customize something that's going to meet your needs and budget. If you would give us a ring at 717-385-9674 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com